How do we measure flow with Arduino? There are a couple of methods, so let's see how they work. So I got a couple of these uh, YF-S201 uh, flow sensors. Um, and I've connected this one here to the um, oscilloscope to see what it actually uh, produces, right? So I'm just going to blow inside. As you see, uh, it sometimes it stays uh, at 5 volts, so sometimes it stays at uh, 0 volts. But we can easily see here that it's just producing uh, pulses. So let's see what we can do with uh, Arduino now with these pulses. Before we look at the Arduino code, I'd like to show you the flow calibration and metering setup that I did here. Um, I actually have four flow sensors up in series here. What I'd like to do here is first to determine what actually my flow rate is with this behind hump and then also like to see if any of these sensors are producing anything different. So to determine the flow rates, the actual flow rate of my Eheim pump, uh, I set up here this bucket with markings for uh, the volume. And I will pour the water coming from the Eheim pump into this bucket. I'll actually uh, measure the time uh, until the water comes somewhere around here. And then by dividing it, by the time I'll, uh, I'll know exactly what the flow is. So when I'm pouring the water from this bucket with the behind pump to the measuring bucket, I'll also have to add more water into this just to avoid any uh, pressure differences due to the volume of the, of the water, right? So I'll try to have just the same amount of water in here while I pour the water into the other bucket for measuring. So I'll be adding water into this bucket from this bucket here and then this bucket will push the water uh, outside into this and then for certain duration of time and then when it comes all the way up to around uh, 19 uh, liters mark uh, we'll stop and see how long it took. Now here is the results of my uh, calculation. The flow seems to be 4.49 liters per minute uh, in this setup here, this flow. So let's hook these up to Arduino and try to get that exact measurement. What we're gonna try to do is to figure out exactly how many pulses these sensors are creating so let's see okay um here is my uh first uh, method uh in this first method um we're attaching the uh sensor pin to an interrupt and just powering the uh, the sensor right it's pretty straightforward and we'll try to get this 4.49 liters per minute so uh set the interrupt to interrupt pin 0, which is digital pin 2, and I attach this uh, pulse counter function, and I've set the uh, t uh, interrupt function to run on the falling edge of the pulse, right? So what happens is uh, each time the function is called, it is calculating the uh, duration between pulses. So first it's recording the time here, Right, and then next time the function is called, it's it calculates this pulse duration by subtracting the previous previous time from the current time. Right, so we we're constantly getting this uh, pulse duration. Okay, 
over here in the loop, I'm constantly calling this uh, calculate flow function, and I'm making an average. Uh, basically, you can just get the flow just by two pulses and measuring the distance by, between the two pulses. Um, it'll probably be like in a couple of milliseconds, and then you can determine it. But because it fluctuates a bit, I'm taking an average. So in this case, I'm taking 4,000 uh, 4, times the average, right? What I'm basically doing is I'm adding the flow to a cumulative number, and I'm also uh, increasing this uh, average count uh, number. And calculating the average uh, flow by dividing the, the cumulative uh, flow to the average uh, number, right? So we get an average. So if the average count is, you know, 4,000, basically here, um, I'm just uh, setting the, uh, the flow variable as the average flow and then printing it on the screen or whatever you want to print. Um, and then I'm also setting these values zero so it can make a new calculation. Okay. So let's see what the output is like. Uh, the output is about 4.49. Okay. And what I have also found is that the, uh, the, the number shown in the spec, 7.5 pulses per liters per minute in a second, uh, is not correct. Right? I get uh, my flow uh, when I set this number to be 6.95. So, I don't know, it's just, uh, I mean, this is like a calibration value for the sensor, right? Anyway, so with this number, I can get the, uh, the most uh, correct uh, values, okay? Let's see, let's make this 1,000 average. We should get uh, four times as more values. Okay. Not much different. Right. Also, one other thing we can try is we can, instead of uh, making this a uh, falling, we can change this to change. So every time the output from the flow goes from low to high or high to low, the interrupt will be called. So we'll get twice as more values here. Right. Well, not twice as more values, but the duration will be half the duration, right? So, for to compensate that, we'll have to divide this number by two. So, I'll just make this uh, 500, and let's run this. Let's see what we're going to get. Okay, I'm getting another number now. Okay. Um, so let's uh, see another method. In this method, every time the interrupt is called, the interrupt is adding a 1 to this pulse count, right? And we're doing this for a certain duration of time. So I set here the flow calculation duration to be 1 second. So we'll get the number of pulses for one second. So when the program starts, the flow calculation start time is the current time, and then it will call this, and then uh, when flow calculation duration of time has passed, it will do a calculation. So let's run this and let's see what we will be getting. Okay, so this is up, updating every second. One other thing we can try now is instead of using uh, millis, we can try micros. Right, and let's make this one second again. Uh, let's put three more zeros here. Make this micros. 
and then let's make this micros okay and let's run this and let's see what happens okay Four point four six. So let's try six point nine. Huh. Four point four nine. Okay. So apparently uh, six point nine uh, pulses per second for one liter per minute uh, is a better number. Okay, and what else can we try? We can um, do this uh, change also instead of a falling. So we'll get twice as much uh, pulse count here and we'll divide it by two. And let's try it like this. All right. Also, we can calculate it for a longer duration, every two seconds. Let's change this back to falling. Ah, oh, okay. Four point four nine. So I don't know if it's a good idea to make this changing but this works okay once in a while we get this 4.57 I don't know but you know I think this 6.9 value works okay I'll change this back to uh, milliseconds again Okay, 4.49 every two seconds. Let's try half a second. Okay, so the value fluctuates a little more. If you would try this. Uh, for a lower number, one tenth of a second, let's see what happens. Okay, it's giving a lot of uh, values. I think it's good to keep this at uh, one second. All right. And we're getting 4.49 so that's it so the next thing I'd like to try is to see if uh, different sensors produce different results this example gives I think the best results so let's see what happens when I try different sensors okay now uh, with the first sensor we're getting 4.49 let's uh, change this to the other sensor okay directly top up wow four point two three something like that let's try the other one hooked up correctly okay Four point six four. 
Wow. Okay, let's try the other one. Okay. Okay, so the first two is giving uh, 4.49, and these two are giving uh, different results. Now, what I did is I, um, I programmed this to capture two flow meters at the same time. Since UNO has only two interruptions, I can only measure two at a time. So the first two, who was giving uh, pretty much the same results, uh, I just hooked those up. And I'm measuring them, and they're pretty much uh, giving uh, the same results. Let's try and see the other two. Okay, I've determined the um, calibration numbers for these two sensors, and I wrote on them. So when I use them, I'll know which uh, numbers I'll use. But they're pretty much giving uh, 4.49 now. Little fluctuation, that's okay, I guess. Alright, so. I hope this video was helpful to use these uh, flow sensors. Please like the video and share. And thanks a lot.